we've set up our development environment. It's time to uh, get hands on and start writing out our first page of our front end application. In the last lesson, we added some basic boilerplate code over here. And let's continue building this out. And so to get started straight away, right underneath the heading tag, we can add a new div. And we're going to give it a class of auth app form. And that's all we'll do for the HTML. Let's start working on this, the global styling that we're gonna be used. In the front end folder, we can create a new file and let's go ahead and call it index.css. Just to get started and testing that this works, we can just create an obvious property here on the HTML tag. And we'll set the background color to something very obvious like red and head on over to the head tag and let's just link this style sheet into our index.html. And so we can very simply just use that link tag and we'll do an href for the index.css and we'll hit save. And as we hit save, you'll see that that color red has now taken up the whole background of our, our index.html page there. And so that now we know that our index or our CSS file is now connected to our HTML. We can continue setting up some more of this, the CSS that we're gonna need. First things first, we can just go ahead and remove this red background color. We can uh, give this something more subtle like an off white. And so we'll use that RGB 244, 244, 244. And that gives us a better background. And then let's set up some CS for the, the body tag. First thing I wanna do is change the font for our entire application. And the way we can do this, if we head on over to a browser, we can go to Google Fonts. Once there, we can search for any font. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Roboto. And I'm going to choose a few font weights that we can use throughout our application. I'm gonna choose 400, we'll do 500 and maybe 700. And as you see, you, you add these weights, it kind of just builds out a link that you can use in your HTML, which is super useful. So once you've selected the, the different options you want for the font, you can then just make sure that you've got this link clicked here and then you can copy that, head on over back to your index.html file and right underneath where we imported that CSS class or that CSS file, we can then just import that code that you've copied from Google Fonts. And once that's in there, we can head on back to our index.css and then we can then set the font family property we're going to go ahead and reference the Roboto font, which is now available to us via this link. So we'll pass in Roboto there and we'll just have a fallback and we'll use sans serif there. And you'll see as we hit save, you can see the Roboto font has now been applied and that's looking good. So we, let's just carry on really quickly with our, our basic CSS setup. We're going to give us some padding at the top. We'll just do 20 pixels. We'll do a margin all round of zero. Display, we'll assign that to flex. Flex direction, we'll say column. In general, we want to align items and we'll just give that an attribute of center. And lastly, just a color. We'll use RGBA and we'll use zero, zero, zero to get black, like pure black. And then we'll just apply a basic, very lightweight opacity. And that goes ahead and it gives us a margin, it aligns things center, subtly changes the color of the font, and that looks good for now. So now that we've set up our global styles, we've set up some styling properties for our application in general. Let's take a short break here. In the next lesson, we're going to continue building out our index.html page and start turning it into our login form. So I'll see you in over there. Cheers for now.